Right, so I've got the chassis outside because I'm going to paint it, but in order to paint it, then I've got to prepare it for painting. So that means washing it with a what's called a mordant solution, uh, which takes all the grease and the grime off, and then I take it back inside, and then I need to put an undercoat or an etch primer undercoat, then a, uh, a chassis black. So that's all that stuff here. I've got some thinners to thin down the paint or the cellulose filler um, and I've got the chassis black and this is the mordant solution which you use to clean the, um, the grease off and I've got a whole bunch of uh, sandpaper which is blowing away uh, to rub it down. So we just finished um, cleaning the chassis, which took longer than I expected actually. So um, yeah, it's not just a quick wash on and wash off of that mordant stuff. You really have to uh, you have to get it on in every corner and um, and let it dry. So when you wash it on, um, put it on with a brush, and then you have to leave it to dry for maybe an hour or so. And it, I mean, it's not very sunny here today. In fact, it's dark outside now but um, when we washed it it wasn't that that sunny and it took about an hour to dry and you can tell it goes dry because it goes into a um, a white powder coat on on the entire chassis so when you paint when you paint the mordant stuff on it turns it black the entire chassis goes black and then it dries to a, a, a white powder and then you've got to wash it off and you've got to wash it off with ideally a jet wash would do it you know really high pressure jet wash and if you haven't got one of those um, then you have to rub it off, you know, scrub it off with a brush, and that took us, yeah, quite a long time, maybe about an hour and a half or so. And there's two people doing it, so it was um, quite a big job. But yeah, I mean that's that's it done, and you can see it's like a well, it's sort of like a mottled grey colour, uh, and I'm just leaving it overnight to. Um, to, to dry off uh, so then hopefully tomorrow I can paint it because I think you're not supposed to leave it for very long once the once the mordant solution has has been been washed on and washed off so hopefully tomorrow I'll use the compressor there to um, to put my paint on Right, so um, I've just painted the chassis with um, the etch primer, and um, yeah, so there it is. It's a grey, obviously, um, and yeah, I had to move the chassis sort of against the wall over here, and then flat on the floor there, and then over that side, just so I make sure I get all of the. Um, all of the corners and nooks and crannies. Uh, it went quite well. Um, you have to use 20% um, thinners on the etch primer. Sometimes I misjudged it and put a bit too much in and it started to run quite quite badly on the chassis. Um, but it doesn't really matter because it's a, it's a bottom coat. But, um, but I think I've got everything. I've uh, got everything covered more or less. And um, yeah, I'm just going to let it dry now. And then after that I will put on the primer, the, uh, the base coat, and then once that's done, I'll rub it down, put another coat on, and then put on the, on the finishing coat, which is a chassis black.
So this is the chassis with the high build primer. So I've done two coats of that. So it's turned it sort of quite a, a light gray. And uh, now I'm gonna do the black. So two coats of black. I'm gonna do two coats on the top sections of the chassis like this. And then wait for that to go off. And there's about 20 minutes between each coat. Um, and then I'm gonna turn that over and do the last two coats on the other side. So it's um, it just works out easy like that. That's how I did this uh, this one. So yeah, get in there.